Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at the area of quadrilaterals. So, we have very, in very basic terms, a square and a rectangle. The area, as you remember, is what is, what is inside the shape. So, the square, the area can be found by multiplying the length of the base by its height. So, square, its area is base times height. Now, this is exactly the same for the rectangle. Okay, so base times height. And conveniently, uh, which can be shown by cutting these shapes up, uh, it is also exactly the same for the rhombus and the parallelogram. You have your base of the shape and you have its, the, its perpendicular height, okay? its actual height of the shape. That can be seen because I could cut that triangle off and stick it onto the end and then we're back to a square or a rectangle rather. Okay, so it's going to be the, just the base multiplied by its height. The same could be seen for a parallelogram. Base times its height. The kite um, is a little bit more fiddly. The kite can be divided up into two triangles if we're given that length and the height of the two triangles, but it's not just a simple calculation as base times height, I'm afraid. So um, it can be a little bit more tricky, um, So, it, but it can be done. It can, just needs to be divided up as a composite shape. The trapezium... The trapezium is in a class of its own. It has a formula that is given to you in the formula booklet, right, well, in, on the formula sheet, right at the front of the exam paper. If it has a length at the top of A and a length at the bottom of B, okay, so these are its lengths, top and bottom, then it's, with its height, H, the formula is one half a plus b h. So I'm going to take time now to show you how that works. Just erase the formula, I'll rewrite that. So, if you had a trapezium in a similar way to that, where you had a base of length 10 centimetres, change the pen because that's got quite squeaky, and let's say that's 5 centimetres, and then it's got a height, an actual perpendicular height of uh, 4 centimetres. Then if I needed to work out its area, this is one half, A plus B, so that's A, that's B, so 5 plus 10, lots of H. So remember, you do what's in the bracket first, that's 15, and then you've got times that by 4, so 15 times by 4 is 60, and half of 60 is 30. So you do the 5 plus 10 is 15, times that by 4 is 60, half of that is 30, so 30 square centimetres. And that's how you can use the formula for the error of a trapezium. But as we saw, for the square, rectangle, rhombus and parallelogram, the error is base times height. The kite's a little bit more tricky, and the trapezium uses this formula here. 